here specifically out of this Austin circle or in, in the professional circle? So it's like two part of question. Yeah. You know, in the past year, you know, I think some of the people uh, E is in the chat room. I yep. think I learned something from him every single time. He's also a really nice guy and easy to talk to. Um, on this particular table when here, he's not mushing our stream. So, <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's, um, on this particular table here, you know, I learned, you know, there was a part of time where I was very passive and just playing tight and aggressive. And I think you lose out on a lot of value by playing that way mm -hmm. and not know how to um, change the pace of the game when you need to. And I think one guy on this particular table that taught me how to play a lot better um, was Westlake Matt. I think yeah. the way that he plays and his general sense for the game, not just looking at the board, but looking at what other players are doing at the table. He, he's, he's very observant. And so I've learned that aspect from the game with him. Um, Bones is just like a really cool guy to chat with if you ever want to talk poker. Very knowledgeable, very patient. Um, just extremely, I mean, poised at the table. I mean, he never gets rattled. Um, and that's, I mean, yeah, I, I'm just naming three guys, but there's obviously a lot of guys that I think a lot of us can learn from. Um, but those are some of the guys that I play with uh, very frequently in, in the Austin circle where I'm always amazed, you know, how little, how I can pull away, you know, these little nuggets from these guys who've been playing for um, a pretty good time. So we've got a uh, heads-up matchup here between Pete and Matt. Matt is going to swing wow. the four fours full over the over pair of Pete. That has been pretty solid here for the most part, and he could be walking right into trouble, as Matt may know he's gotten a little bit lucky, but prepared to cash in here yeah. in the spot with Pete leading the turn. You got to... Plus one player, betting twice, two draws got there, or two draws um, presenting itself. Oh, he's flatting it. Going to trap him. Going to okay. have to fade a, a jack or a seven. He will do so. And This, this is, is a little tough because now you're going to get, it's going to be hard to get more money in the pot. And it's tough to imagine Pete, you know, putting in a, a more money on this spot or potentially calling on the spot either. Mm -hmm. But might be a check call situation for Pete. He could potentially. Yeah. I, I think that's totally within reason unless he may assume maybe Matt busted clubs, but how this has played out. He could either just anticipate nine. Just oh, it's more. It's about 15, I think. So six, about well, two-thirds pot, maybe. It's a big yeah. bet here. So yeah. Matt probably just trying to see if he can get as much value from a seven as possible. Because I guess maybe he can you know, set think, some over pairs in this yeah. spot. But I really wish he bet on the turn. I get why he didn't. Um, but I really wish he had raised it up on the turn. Tough one here for Boy the Pistol. Yeah. What does somebody call two streets with? And I bet so big on that river. And Matt is going to yep. get the payoff here. And he'll see. Got a little bit unlucky on the turn. As yeah. a password <laughs> to try to get into Twitch. So it's just sort of like a yeah. twive like being on YouTube. As yeah. ease of access to get into. So here um, we go. Let's see. Lee McKenzie is saying that's what Seti and I have been saying. Grow the whole community. Yeah, that's a fact. You never know who in the world you might bring in or motivate from this. That, <clears throat> yeah, I th think that's been the cool part about this is that it's given people a source of something to follow within this community. That, yeah. Because people are, uh, in streams in other rooms, like they want to watch the people of their rooms and the people they know. So yep. it's like I, I totally get it. So when we get into these pissing matches about oh this player last stream, like it it's all serves a singular purpose for the great of the game and. You know, if you're worrying about how it lines up your own pockets, I think you're in partially for the wrong reasons. But. Yeah. You know, uh, we talk a lot about this, you know, about like uh, table etiquette, especially when yes. you have recreation people who aren't there to grind out money. They're there to have a good time. And I think if you are there to grind out money, I think it's really important that you know that part of your role at that table is to keep the table engaging. So being nice to people, yeah, not berating people. Suckers, you know, it's just... <laughs> Yeah, not berating people when they go, you know, uh, when they call a three bet with three four suited like me, and they actually hit something on the yeah. flop. Like, 
But not like forces. congratulate them. Tell them to have a good hand. We got I'm not going to beat this topic. We've talked about this yeah. in other. We've we've got um, a big hand going on here. Oh, here we go. Queen Pure six. Now going to raise with the queens full of sixes. Chase here with the not full house. Queens full of eights. Had put out a bet of 300 into this PLO single board bomb pot. And oh boy. Cooler alert and a three bet here to 3.6. Oh god. I mean, it's just you're only beating eights full, I think, at this point if your Pierre are chopping. Like it's, or else if you can spike a king in there, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I have to just... think he's probably done with this after this massive, yeah, chunky three bet here. It's, I mean, you're still getting value from sixes, uh, sixes and eights, and so, oh, this is rough. This. I don't think I've ever seen anybody fold this. It, it is kind of one of those spots if you're a PLO player, you can recognize yeah. it. But it's like when you get <clears> some <throat> of the Hold'em players that do play PLO, but not necessarily yeah. from a mastery standpoint, yeah. that you really understand these spots. Yeah. And Pierre going to make the right decision, tap the table. And nice he probably job. knows Chase going to show it to him anyway. So yeah. He'll, nice job, Pierre. You can get... A lot of money on the table, depending on one time. But it is match the top stack on the table for, for good measure. As, let's go. Coins with a raise up here to 125. Chase here with a call on the hijack. As Colby going to loosen things up a little bit here with the ace deuce off. Does <laughs> nobody? Well, coins pairs up second pair here, which is gutter ball for Chase. It is going to be coins making a bet here. It's bet of two fifty. That probably should shoo everyone out of here. All right, thanks for stopping by, or, or Carlo. He's got a head on. Look at that. Look at that. Just, you can see Andrew right there. Slick jacket, sweatpants. It's a man that has got his own unique sense of Gucci. <laughs> like a baller. I love this guy. Yeah. Uh, There's a nine ball on the end. As, oh, my God, Colby here made trip deuces. And then coins. Resucks here for nines full. Wow. And the run good continues. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's keep it going here. Bones here with the raise up to 150. Colby going to call the <clears throat> deuces. Chas here with the 8-7 of clubs. Moose Duty, this message will self-destruct if you do anything. Good luck. All right. Uh, I'm going to do some dancing. Chaz is going to isolate. Play with bones. That's uh, one of those first uh, three bet out of the small blind moments here tonight. Those, he goes for the big swing here with a raise up to 1,025. and. Is Colby like tilting or something right now? Because oh boy, he's played so much wider hands than oh we've boy. typically ever seen him play. So he's here for it. Here we go. Heads up, eight seven suited, or maybe he's going for the quad jackpot here on Monday at Texas Card House. So he's still got the best Yikes. hand here. Ace is up. The Chaz. If somehow this winds the showdown. He does have some potential counterfeit outs. He is... I think Chaz can bet about a quarter here. That's about a good eye there. He makes about 450. <laughs> Kobe's just going to fold so much that misses. He's going to go for it here. Okay. We know if anything, Colby is warm, so maybe the jacket's kind of, maybe he's just a little hot right now, yeah. just needs a little breathing room, but he 
is going to put in a raise here in the spot. Does Let's see what option Chaz goes for here because he is one of those players capable. Kobe making a play. Yeah, he is one of those players. I think, gosh, if Chaz makes a play here, oh, he's making it. He's capable. See, yeah. here's the thing. If Kobe has an ace, are you ever raising it in that spot? There are, if, if I am, it's a low frequency, very specific to an opponent yeah. or situation, but I think you're... Ch Chaz is setting up a river jam. Kobe's going to check this. There's just no way that you, Kobe's going to bet. Oh, Unless wow. Kobe really this thinks that Chaz has a hand like king-queen, queen-jack, yeah. uh, you know, sevens on up. Let's see that jam, baby. Brick here on the end for both players. Chaz does not pair up, does not make a straight draw. I can only win by betting. Chaz doesn't even need to bet a lot. 4.7 in here. He's going to go for the shove. He's got the juggler. Cup. Holy moly, Massachusetts. That is. I, I think everybody needs to appreciate what Chaz just did here. Yeah. He literally planned the river bet. I mean, that was just such a great clinic. And obviously, props to Colby for having a little bit of heart there. I just don't think that anybody with an ace in that pred uh, predicament is ever going to uh, raise it there. Um, yeah. Oh. Is I don't know if Chad can hear that, but that's me just clapping. What a hand. Please show it. You've got to yes! show it. Yes. Good Lord. Is Oh, big pot there. Here on TCH Live, we are like, what, the last hour 15 or so? 181 likes. All right, what do we got? Bones, coins, Chaz, Pete, hanging on in here. I like the aggression from Bones, trying to thin out the feud. And, <laughs> fortunately, yeah, yeah. everybody just calls. So successful, isn't he? Bones gets lucky again with top two. Should take it down right here. Oh, yeah. The coins, coins might stay around. Coins might hang along <clears throat> here for the for the open under, but yeah. although you got to imagine your um, your straight some of your straight outs are taken up or no good. Okay, should be a big bet. Oh, let's see, oh, four. That's five. a pretty big bet with four, uh, three other people. Four fifty. Wow, oh, US, USC up on Kansas twenty nine nineteen right now. No way. This is the year for the Pac twelve. Okay. Uh, coins. Okay. Well, coins gets a little bit of help. <laughs> yeah, it pairs up the Dewey. Gets him just a little more hope than usual. Mm. Uh. Gary K really asking in the chat, what's your drink of choice? You folks out there know it for the most part. We'll see if somebody who is the first person to correct or uh, an correctly answered my uh, beer of choice. Um, 1.2K bet here by Bones trying to get coins out of this bad boy. Uh, let's see. I, uh, He's reaching for some calling chips. Oh, wow. Coins is actually going to take one more card off with this. Uh, nobody's correctly guessed my beer of choice on the stream. You've you have seen me drink it on the stream. People's memories aren't oh, forever. And he streets gets there. are, though, for coins. He gets there, but coins has not traditionally bet this card. And he goes check, check, I think. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Well, so much for Bones getting lucky all the time. People want stuff overnight, and you can't blame them for it because that's. In the, port, in the court of a public opinion, you're always going to be crucified unless you do the absolute best as possible. Like, you're just never going to have the loudest voices be the most apologetic. So, we've got Big Daddy Chaz 
who I don't know if he's ever apologetic, because it's going to raise up here to 75. With 9 7 of hearts. Coins here with the 3 deer suited. And. See Andrew and Colby all in the mix. Steam Dulles says Seth can't lose a racehorse. That's fine. <laughs> All right, there is a nut low draw and spade draw here for coins. If only we were playing hold them high low. And coins is going to be the one who bets here. As yeah. You wonder why his VPIP is so high. He's, yeah, I wonder. he's getting involved. Jeez, no kidding. He keeps connecting yeah. with boards. How can you keep – how would you fold? Being our Marcus, to be honest, this lineup at the table is sick. Like, yeah, it is really good. There goes coins. Binks it. Like to see a, a large bet charge those. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's a tough. It's an for, interesting card. Coins get, could get could get Chaz here to pay this. Well, no, he's gonna even do one better. He's gonna have Chaz do the betting for him. Love it. Splats out of bet. The call. This. Making sure his spades didn't turn into clubs. They haven't. And Coins just going to smooth, and he's stacking Coins yet again. Just just doing it. Kyle Bickerstaff in caps lock says, this is tough. Well, I mean, you're between Chaz, <laughs> yeah, Westgate, Matt, Bones. I mean, it's like when you just name those three, like I don't care who you put after that. It's like you're just not going to have easy money on the table. Yeah. As I don't know a ton. I mean, I, I've seen enough, but try to gauge everybody's strength is not difficult. We got a big hand here. Colby here with the pair of flush draw bone. Or excuse me, coins here with the nut flush draw. And a chase with top pair. And the king of diamonds in his hand is going to put the raise. All right, let's see if we get Ooh. Colby here stuck in a really weird spot. That Pure flush draw is going to put in the three bet, bet here to 2.8K. Like Sicko. It. And Coyne's going to beat him right into the pot here. He is going to <laughs> make the call for 2.8K or 2.4K. Let's go, Coyne. Oh, Chase can't call this. As, yeah, like I said, Chase is <laughs> totally stuck here in the spot. It's like I've, I have a raise and I have an Two instant pair call. Stuck. Colby in a way better spot, though, if he can get Chase out of this because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then he's just having to face the just fade the ace. Or any of the, I mean, it's that there's what, how many diamonds are already About, out here at this point yeah. that it's just. It'd be so sick if we go flush over flush in the spot, but Chase gonna turn that chair around, maybe help his decision making. Always know I get a little blood flow here to the head sometimes. Damn, last hand. Well, he's thinking. And he's not wrong. But he's oh, he's had such a magnificent session. I don't want him to it's just yeah, coin shatter off here. some chips here with top yeah. pair. Yeah. I mean, he technically has the best hand, but the way this has played out, it just sort flip. of feels he's yeah. just he has to sit there and like, am I up against a set or an over pair somehow or some I mean, kind of combo yeah. draw Even like if it's seven a combo five draw. diamonds? Like yeah. it's it's such a grimy spot for Chase to be in because. You really don't know what the hell coins may have in this spot here. Yeah. Like, that's kind of the mystery to him that. We'll see if here, if he makes a call for 1.7 more. Yeah. 
Andrew? Still thinking here. Okay. Was there a graphic error earlier? I, th I, I thought I saw coins go all in, but that's not. No, no. He, well, it was graphic error because I think. Oh, okay. You it. saw that the chips going so quickly that I. It, yeah. That the all in chip didn't get thrown in. So yeah. usually that's that's my number one it's indicator. Like really yeah, 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 that's. Um. Oh, coins is putting in a lot of chips for a diamond here. I mean, if Chase folds, Coins is pretty much committed. Wow. So, it's like, Bones, Kobe, what do you think here? And I mean, yeah. The Coins will uh, yeah. take a sip. Hoping for a big card here on the turn. He is going to pair up a nine, which does give him some showdown value here. Colby is probably going to toss in his last 3.2K. Coins. Coins got a little bit of help. He is going to make the call. We got a 14K pot going on here in our 510 game. Will Coins smash the river? As we'll see. And it's a nine! Oh, it's a nine! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Mike, I was literally gonna say <laughs> This game is so ridiculous sometimes, it makes no sense, Mike, but I was literally gonna say, what are you asking right now? Just queue it up. Just queue it, it up. Queue it, <laughs> it up. Oh it up. my goodness, this is so just oh unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, I think my stomach really hurt just getting up so fast. Jesus. I figured at some point I would share it, but it was also just like, uh, it's kind of yeah. one of those things that you just respect people's privacy on. Yep. That's, That's the cool thing about poker, too. Like, I, I think sometimes you just think it's like gambling and people are just shoving their money left and right and drinking beers at the table, which... Not for not too, not wrong. It's a part. It's a part it's of it. Part sure. Of it. I mean, sometimes it's Friday nights and people are just saying, "Hey, I'm, I had a long week and I just want to." <laughs> yeah, sometimes just get a little rowdy. We got uh, plenty of people um, trying to let loose here. As we've got, we're gonna maybe be going yeah. five ways, seven hundred fifty a piece between <clears throat> Chaz coins, One, two, bones, three, Andrew four. up here. Ooh. A three point eight k pot near the tail end of our stream right now. Everybody. With a fairly good reason to be in there. Here we go. Let's it's see if we get a four thousand dollar pot. I, I see, see something. Set of nines for Andrew. Gutter ball for Pierre with backdoor clubs. Not much happening for anybody else. Andrew may recoup some losses here in this hand, and with one point four k, according to our calculations, Andrew hasn't betted with his nutted hands earlier, and I hope he does now because. There are a lot of people that connected with this flop somehow. Andrew, going to 10x his life okay. here and <laughs> make a bet. Yep. It's a 4K pot. He's getting somebody to call out. 500. Somebody. Maybe coins. Uh, yep, coins is going to call. He is going to need some back doors <clears throat> and... With 9.15 left, Andrew better hope he does not see an 8 here because that... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's it's going to be like a thousand shove here for Andrew and coins can't, like, fold here. <laughs> like, I mean, what? At this pace. Oh, God. He's just like, I... I'm this is deja vu. To... Ten minutes ago, I stood up. Uh-oh. I'm... Can we do it? All right, guys. We're all standing up, including Do Super Producer cover, Carolyn. Earmuffs, kids. Earmuffs, kids. I, it's okay. It's twice, so maybe we'll get a scooper duper or a split. We shall see. Uh, coins does make the call for nine fifteen. We're going twice. Number one, Seth, show me that card. It's a deuce. It's blank and a jack. So they will chop it up. So <laughs> poor, poor Andrew was thinking. You know, we're sitting here thinking, man, he's gonna wow. scoop this whole thing, but. Well, there we see the count here at the end. Wow, I this so game much was money great. on the table is. I know. Max coming in here late, it looks like. Cause, well, that is going to wrap things up. As you see, our floor man Sam tossed in the regular deck and going to toss out the RFID. We had 
an awesome freaking stream here tonight. Thank mm -hmm. you so much to Patricia Carolyn, our dealers, floors, everybody here. Jay Wen at Jay Wen Poker. Follow him now. Do it now. Yes. I'm Mike Emblett. Do talking. Say so long, everybody. The words of the great Mike Sexton. May all your cards be live. Your pots be monsters. Good night, y'all.